everyone, welcome back to Indolingo, the web series where we're talking about how to talk about learning Indonesian. My name is Amy Bedrikas and I'm a PhD candidate in linguistics at UWA. In episode in part 4, we're talking about the sounds at the ends of words in Indonesian. There are four sounds we need to look out for at the ends of words, p, t, k and h. So first we'll talk about p and t, then we'll talk about k, and lastly we'll talk about h. In English, the sounds p and t at the ends of the words tend to be released or audible. So words like sip and sit, you can hear the p and the t. In Indonesian, we don't release the sounds. So a word like ready, see up, see up, doesn't have the p released. So it's see up, not see up. An example of the t sound at the end of a word in Indonesian is the number four or empat. Again, the sound isn't really released. So it's empat, empat, not empat. Another difference you might have noticed about the t sound between English and Indonesian is that in English we make the sound by touching the tip of our tongue to the lumpy ridge behind your teeth and that's called the alveolar ridge. So we say t, t. In Indonesian we make this sound by placing the tip of our tongue on our teeth, t, t. Or at the end of a word, unreleased, empat. In Indonesian, k is another sound, like p and t, that we don't release at the end of a word. So to say no, we say tidak, tidak, and not tidak. The k sound becomes like a glottal stop, which is what you'll hear in Cockney pronunciations in the middle of words like bottle, for bottle. The last sound we'll talk about today is h at the end of words. So in English, a word like blah has an h at the end, but we don't say it. We don't say blah. But in Indonesian, if there's an h at the end of the word, it's really important to pronounce it because it can actually change the whole meaning of the word. For example, Indonesian has the words muda, which means young, and muda, which means easy. Now you need to be really careful not to get these two words confused so that you don't describe a test as young or a girl as easy. Another example, if you were catching a plane, someone might ask you tasmu di mana, which means where's your bag? Now if you say tasku di bawa, that means you're carrying it. If you say tasku di bawa, that means you've checked it in because di bawa means it's carried Dibawa means it's underneath. We've talked about p, t, k, and h. And it's important to know how these sound at the ends of words because they make you sound more natural. They can also change the meaning of what you're saying. That's it for Indolingo episode in part. Don't forget you can like, comment on, and share our video or subscribe to the channel below. And remember, the best way to learn a language is to use it. Out. And it's important to know how these sound. <laughs> Di uh, called the alveol alveolar touching the underback underback <laughs> go we don't do that no to the to the Jeremy I do hmm hmm well yeah hmm this at the end yeah thanks for watching oh my gosh I thought this would actually be quicker than before